7.30. I'm on my way to the BART station. A lot of stuff. And, uh, it's too early. That's all I can say. So I'm at the station. Not much to say. I was gonna say I've never been here because the bar station didn't look familiar but as soon as I stepped out I realized Sergey and I went birding at this place near here once so it's ghetto as always yeah all right so I'm on the bus and I, I got here early 20 minutes early which is nice when I think about last time but um Pretty much, I'm the only one bored in Oakland, so it's very, very empty. <laughs> and then we're stopping in like SF, and I think San Jose, so there should be other people coming. He said, I don't know. driving by the ocean like uh, yeah we're just taking a road that's like right next to the ocean which is nice well the bay and then um, I sat near the front ish because I thought everyone else was gonna like go to the back which it didn't pan out basically like everyone sat near the front for some reason so it made me a bit annoyed Whatever, I guess it's okay. So we're in San Jose, stopping. I didn't expect that it would be so close to home like this, but whatever. All right, so we're here in the middle of nowhere for a break as always. And then the bus is gone, maybe? People are like running around looking for the bus, but they don't know where it is. I don't know where it is either, but. I mean, if no one else is on, then it should be fine. <laughs> Alright, so I got off the bus, and then I was sleeping for most of it. And then I get off, and I'm going to the metro. And I was very confused, because I was obligated to get a, a card, a tap card. Apparently they don't do regular tickets at all, so that's nice. Um, then I was trying to get on the metro and it was very like <laughs> both sides of the platform were going the same direction because apparently both of the lines end here but I didn't know that so I just got on like I was like I was going north and I got on the metro and I looked across and I was like that one's going north too what's going on it was very confusing but we're going very slowly I hope it doesn't, I don't know if it always goes this slowly, but like it's not, we're hardly moving at all it feels like. Alright, so I'm at USC now, I'm going to look for Alex, I think I know where he is, probably, but I actually am not that sure, so it's gonna be fun. Feels slightly less red than the last time I came here, like, maybe it's because it's cloudy out. But the bricks do not seem quite as red. They seem like, uh, 
not the kind of dark red that I imagined it was, you know? Look how high this curve is. It's very peculiar. Like, earlier there was a, there's a, like, thing where you get down from the curve for handicap, and it was, like, super inclined because the, the curve is so high. I've stumbled into an event, the Greater Los Angeles Area Chemical Biology Symposium. So I guess I will check it out as I wait for balance. A bunch of posters and stuff. Okay, so I was loitering around the, the presentations and I was eating cookies pretending I cared. <laughs> and then um, Alex came, picked me up, and then we went to... I dropped off my things and then on the way out, we saw like these... Wait, who are they? DPS in training. So Security officers in training. <laughs> they were like biking. It was like <laughs> 10 of them just biking in a circle <laughs> as they're waiting for the, the friggin' <laughs> crosswalk. And they're all just walking. We're like, what is going on? And they're like, please go through, go through. And they're all just biking in a very, very small circle. It was very ridiculous. It's a kind of bizarre situation. Um, Alex has to do stuff in the lab, but then there's a lot of people there. So he's like, yeah, if I bring you in, it'll be really weird. So basically, I'm just waiting here in like the waiting area, and it's pretty big and nice because it's shared between a bunch of labs, and that means that nobody's going to bother me because I might be part of another lab that they'll know about. Um, also, as we were leaving the dorm, super bizarre, these random people started asking Alex these questions of like, oh, what dorm, what, who lives here, and like, what is inside? And then apparently they were like past graduates, and then Alex was so nice that he answered the questions. So we are now shopping at Trader Joe's for our dinner. Also Target. Also Target, yes. However, I'm not sponsored by them, so. We're cooking in Alex's pitiful kitchen. <laughs> There are lights here, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh? Better lighting. We are preparing pasta. And also, Alex has a small rice cooker. It's also a steamer. That is also a steamer. A two-in-one deal. 15 bucks on Amazon. We are now eating. It was a bit frustrating to cook in Alex's kitchen. And we're in the lounge, because there's no space in this room. This room's so small. And this is like... These are study cubicles, but I think it's kind of creepy because it's just like facing this table. Wait. So it's like <laughs> restaurant booths and then study cubicles that are just facing the, the chairs. So you know, this place is just weird, bizarre. This is the elevator button branded with that USC logo. <laughs> Fight on. <laughs> Okay, so we went out and then we toured Alex's lab, but it's like top secret, so I couldn't show it. And then Alex just told me about his lab work, and it seemed quite complicated anyway. And then so, essentially it was like blah 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 cancer, um, just like, you know, classic bio labs. Um, and so now it's like 9.40, I think I need to get up at like 6. 30 or 6 or something bad tomorrow. So that's gonna be fun. Yeah. That is probably it for today. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe.